The steam turbine is a heater engine which uses steam as working fluid. This is designed to operate the turbine well under the steam condition of fixed scope. The steam turbine is a reheat condensing turbine of the tandem compound type, which consists of HP turbine, IP turbine, and LP turbine. The rotor consists of row of wheel, which is a body with shaft and is designed to stand the centrifugal load of the impulse bucket connected to the wheel mechanically. The rotor works for changing circumferential power of the rotative blade into turning power through the wheel. The bucket is assembled to the turbine wheel part and works for changing heat energy from the steam into turning motion by conveying it to the shaft. Also, it changes the fluid flow by using the entrance and exit angle of the bucket. The coupling is an equipment which connects two rotative shafts and fixed with uniform and solidity high tensile bolt. The bearing is an equipment which sustains the weight and thrust of the turbine rotor. Number 1 to number 4 bearing consists of double tilting pad type. Number 5 to number 8 bearing consists of the elliptical type. The thrust bearing is located between number 2 and number 3 of the journal bearing and prevents the movement of the turbine axial which has exceeded the limit. The nozzle box changes high temperature and high pressure steam heat energy from the boiler into kinetic energy and controls the designed amount of steam to pass. The diaphragm changes thermal energy of steam into kinetic energy. The diaphragm consists of the partition, outer ring, web, spill strip, and packing ring. The partition holds the web up by welding to the outer ring and web. The outer ring bears the partition and makes space for the spill strip to locate. The web bears the partition and makes space for the dowel pin and packing ring to locate. The spill strip reduces leakage steam between the rear of the bucket and diaphragm, and the packing ring reduces the leakage steam between the rotor and diaphragm. The HP inner casing is a turbine internal pressure container, bears the diaphragm, and works for a blocking damage of the bucket shaft. The HP outer casing, which is the high-pressure turbine external container, blocks the inside and the outside. The inner casing is a turbine inner pressure container, bears the diaphragm, and works for blocking when bucket and other shaft gets damaged. The IP outer casing is an intermediate pressure turbine external container and works for blocking the inside and the outside. The LP inner casing is a low-pressure turbine internal container, bears the diaphragm, and works for supporting the smooth flow of the steam. The LP outer casing is a low-pressure turbine external container, works for blocking the inside and the outside, and bearing the inside component of the turbine. The casing, which is designed symmetrically, can freely take in the expansion of all directions of rotation parts and fixed parts. Internal parts such as diaphragm, packing box, bearing bear, 
on the top of the pit center line. The gland packing is an equipment which is installed at each ends of the HP turbine, IP turbine, and LP turbine to prevent steam leakage between the end of the turbine and rotor. The crossover pipe is a steam path to send the intermediate pressure turbine exhaust to the low pressure turbine. The turning gear smoothly makes the speed increase when the steam flows in by slowly rotating the turbine axial when the turbine stops or during the period for starting preparation. Also, it is installed to constantly cool down the turbine inside parts.